let's head over here to this tall neck first. Uh, it kind of started me off in a weird spot. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn and cross up here. I don't know that I can actually climb any of that. So, like I said in streams before, I'm not actually intending for this. I'm not intending for this to be a speed run. I honestly could have already blown through it. I could have, you know, I could be a lot trail. further in it than what I am. But this is a game, personally, again, I don't want to speed run. I'm enjoying playing what I am. Um, I may actually even do a stream here in the next few days and just do nothing but side quests because obviously I have quite a few of them that I haven't done anything with. Why is it sending me so far around? Okay, that's weird. Alright, maybe... Let's just... Let's get that. Let's get that for now. Anyways, um... Yeah, I have no... I, I just... I don't want to do a speed run for this. I'm enjoying playing the game as it is, I mean, to me that's what's fun about this game anyways. So, I'm just going to keep going tomorrow, like I said, or, well, maybe probably not tomorrow, but next day or something like that I'll end up doing a stream and I'll probably just do a bunch of side quests, um, and probably just focus on a few of those and I'll probably just, I mean, figure out what I want to do there, but still, I don't remember having a problem here before, but maybe I did. Definitely oh, climb up. This is where things kind of get a little, can get a little weird. Um, climbing up out of the water sometimes for the jump. That um, you know, I, I well, at the end of the game, there's people there that can help you, and if you skip a bunch, you know, you skip a f quite a few of the side quests, you don't have those people around. And personally, I'd rather have them there. So I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna completely skip by everything. Maybe just a little. Maker's End. Not oh, much farther now. Paul said he found an image of a woman who was a little ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way up here? So far from the world. I don't get it. Who is she? The name. Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again. Oh, that didn't happen. That didn't kill them? Wow. Okay. 
normally on the harder difficulty or on the easier difficulties I get that kill again. I didn't realize I didn't hear. They haven't seen me either. Um, okay, I'm so good. for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Ah, oh, how many has it been now? I don't keep count, no. Don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us or a little different? Hopefully a little different. Mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? Alright, I guess I'm as well do this one while I'm here. that one, I guarantee it. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go go down in there. Of course that went over... like this difficulty actually changes your aim ball I, I I don't know it aiming just feels so much harder on this difficulty maybe it's just me I just feel like there's way too many instances on this one of just like not even hitting anything and it looks like to me I've shot like right shot him right through the head or something like that and nothing happened
really know. It's supposed to be like some badass fighter. Together, large. Shoot over. Why is it hitting? You're trapped now. Wow, how many heavy attacks does that guy have to take? You won't survive this. That didn't work out at all. You won't survive this. Swing. What are you doing? All right. Apparently, I shouldn't have done this to Pinky because this is kind of. somebody I have. Bad to that... one of us. Yeah. Trouble. You feel this one? <laughs> Please tell me that's the last one, okay. Move along now. The Osram would invent a gadget to do this. Hopefully it's my head it's all over not playing the sound right. I hope I never come across Redmaw. It would crush me with a flick of its tail. Okay, what is he doing? Forget about traveling light. Right, let's save it here real quick, and then I'll get made it possible for us to live together in peace. Thank you.
How much will the snow cover? Okay, and I'm starting to get some blaze canisters back there. Okay, there they are. I was thinking there were some eclipse up here somewhere. Eclipse, just like he said. Hey, now how did that guy see me? Because technically when I fired, he had his back to me. So he wouldn't have known I was sitting in a bush right here. We have no idea. get around the corner. <laughs> Little fishy. Yeah. In here. 
Um, wait, which one? Oh, the one behind me is the equipment. Let me go grab that first. Right where you said it would be. Not a bad selection. Which? Well, I'll put yeah. those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. We'll talk later. Wait! It's kind of different for me to stream at this time of day because normally I'm at work here, but I get to enjoy a, a day off here. It's really? I looked for that that spot right there last time. Corrupted wow, I feel stupid now. I seriously gods. did. In that last stream, I, if you the eclipse and corrupted see machines. it on there, I looked for that Come all on. over the place. Unhappy family. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's my sign it wasn't really meant for me to stream last time. Okay. Um There is a slight shortcut on this one. You can go through like this warehouse here and it brings you out a little, just a little further down you can see a little bit of this but it does kind of worry me that I'm gonna get stuck between a bunch of people <laughs> Possibly. Okay. So I still know somehow, somewhere or another, I'm going to screw this up and I'm going to end up in a massive open combat situation here. Because no matter what I do, these guys always seem to know that I'm here. Um, more than likely I will leave those two alone if possible. I did buy plenty of stuff to make arrows now, so I'm not worried about that, but at the same time I don't want to, I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to go through these guys either. See if I can get that watcher. Probably not. Hey, I did. What do you know? All right. Stealth in this one actually, to me, is a little tricky because it's not. Well, I guess maybe I'll say it, this particular difficulty is tricky to do it. Yeah, see that guy already What's sees something. There? I don't I don't even know what he sees. He thinks he just sees me, I don't know. Well, let me go hide in the bush for a minute. Um no, I can't do that. One second, lay down a proximity bomb that more than likely it won't kill him. It'll just alert everybody else that something's going on. Are you going to hide like a coward or come out and fight? Well, I can fight if you want me to. Eyes on me, brothers! <laughs> All right. Did you blow yourself up? You will
Somehow the rest of the guys didn't know what was going on, because obviously they are wandering around all over the place. So I'm not really sure <clears throat> what's going on there. Um, can I do... no. Too late. Crap. Choice of a guy runs straight at me. I better things to do. Did he just? Where the hell did that come from? Out here. Okay, well I survived that one with without being without being too bad. It didn't pull as many of them as I thought it would. These dig sites. They're massive. scared the crap out of me. Are you serious? Huh. Alright. Now that I feel like I just had a heart attack. Maybe I can, I don't know, maybe I can get lucky and hide from one of these here. If I can bring, bring one of them down here. Oh, sure. No, I'm just So pretty much right here was a perfect example of how the machines actually
mean, it's it's. Oh, oh all right, wow. It's possible. Um, this game actually, I mean, it uses a lot. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot more graphic intense than like Monster Hunter is. There's actually. Uh, I mean, if you could hear my PS4 right now, it sounds like it's trying to fly off. It's just, the game, it's a lot heavier on your PS4 than that, so I, that actually could be part of it, too. Monster Hunter probably runs, I mean, graphic-wise, it's not trying to push, like, realistic. Quite like this one is. Really? But yeah, this game actually is much more like graphic. I mean, it's just it's much more intense, heavy, resource heavy than anything else I have. Um, I have plenty of other games that I mean you can run and you barely even know that your PS4 is on. And no, this game, PS4 sounds like it's trying to fly away right now. There's one watcher that I didn't draw that time. And this is one I don't know if maybe I don't know the specifications of like the pro. I don't know like if that one would work better. I don't know if you know whatever the specs on it I don't know if it has a better processor or anything like that I, I don't know personally I would love to have the pro just so I could take a better graphics oh hey what was wrong there were two watchers see some stuff. So I guess before I continue much further, I will say that this 
mission here, uh, once you actually get into it, does have a lot of story mission spoilers. So I understand that people don't want to watch it, but it does have it does have a lot. This one may not have as much of it as I could do. I don't <sighs> And then there's this thing. happened last time too. I tried to be sneaky and take out a few other things and it did not work out for me. Nope, I missed. I knew that. Oh, alright, well, I guess that miss didn't cost me too much. Intimidating as those machines look, they actually weren't that bad on the easier difficulties, but I'm a little worried about what I'm going to see from this. Shoot him, it will guarantee alert the rest of them. Nothing there. Something in the bush. Let me go investigate. Thank you, Silence. We got us a corpse over here! Uh, oh no. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. No one disappears without a trace. Oh, 
going down. Wow, he gave up pretty quick. Where there were two dead guys. I don't think I'd keep walking over there by myself. Maybe I'm just smart like that. Okay, I've only got those. Is that two? Yeah, those two. Let's see what I can do here. I know the stealth thing isn't as fun to watch, but. I really don't want to face all of these at one time. this guy out. I can try to take this guy out. That sounds better. Alright. Um, there are ports that will open and you can actually fire and if you can get like uh, the fire arrows you can actually hit some of those ports when they're open it will actually cause them to overheat. I don't think I'll be able to get that. Start. Yeah. Yeah, she did overheat. Oh. Doing its thing. See those little things that pop up there at the top. Those will actually Whoa. Those things pack a punch. Alright. Did I the eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Did I just take that out already? What the hell? Okay. Well, never mind. I do know technically that one, <laughs> to give him some credit, that one technically is considered damaged. Because it doesn't actually move. It did just a hair, but you will see like in later ones, um, when as you come across those, this one pretty much, it really, it stays about like in, like as far as leg wise, it, it really doesn't move much there. Um... Unless, I guess, unless other people have seen it move. But every time I've ever come across him, he stays in that same spot, and, like, his, the upper body just moves around. What am I looking? Oh. That. Let's see what you have to say.
Um, let's go. Let me go back and loot them really quick. Let me get the rest of them. There we go. Yeah, that's basically what it's referencing. As soon as she picked it up, um, that's what it's referencing. It's her that she's still alive. And fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? So that right there is where you first get the real clue about the you know, the time difference between everything that happened, the person who she apparently looks like, and what's actually going on. There are three hundred and fifty thousand days between the last time she was here. Um, okay, so obviously in places like this, you're just obviously, you can explore around, and look around here. I'm going to do like a quick sweep through, more for supplies than anything. I think. I don't think there's a whole lot here if I remember right, but... Yeah, you get like a lot of these little data points here and everything that you can find. Um, they are definitely, I will say this, for your first time playing through, they are definitely worth actually picking up and making the effort to collect all of them. Because it does give you quite a bit of insight as far as to what was going on at that time. But, again, for me, I collected... I'd have to go back and look, but I think I collected all but like four or five of them in my first playthrough. And I and I did take the time to... There's a lot here, but it's well worth trying to find if you want to know a lot about kind of the backstory of things that were going on and just kind of what, what was going on at that time. So yeah, this, this one does have a little bit of story spoiler, but not quite as much as I thought initially. I kind of got this confused with one of the other quests out here. I'd have to leave something else behind. Really? She likes jumping on all the desks here. I don't know why I can never get through without her just running and jumping on something. A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. 
From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So, they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. It's close. Um, F F E R O, I believe. Yeah, if you look up at the top, like the little mini map along the uh, navigation bar. It actually said, like, Ted Faro, F-A-R-O. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. It kind of, they rose actually fairly quickly through here and again became, what the hell? Um, but they rose fairly quickly and became literally, I mean, like, I mean, yeah, this game definitely does remind me, it has that Terminator feel to it, the whole, like, Skynet thing. Things are, like, being automated everywhere. They're using them for literally everything. No, it's not. not even old death. I mean, natural. initially, again, these guys were here. I mean, they were here to more help. It's just like anything, you know, that's kind of what they talk about all the time. It's like, well, they're here to help. They're here to just enhance things. And, again, that's always the way it starts out. But then once you realize that there are other applications for that, that's when they start, you know, it starts going overboard. Oh yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> so, I'm back where the, uh, the Deathbringer was at. Fine, I don't need what's in there though. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, I'll admit, this part right here is going to be kind of boring, but it does actually give quite a bit more... It tells you a little bit more about it, in general. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, 
The Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Than yeah, so that one could basically just create machines right then and there on the battlefield instantaneously. And if you actually caught it, it says biomass conversion. So it actually has to use basically biomaterial to actually convert what it has into creating other machines. No room. They blame this place for something. Something bad. I did come in here, right? <laughs> Gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Well, it's not like Dr. Sobek intentionally destroyed half of this building and then made you have to climb like this. Hang on up here. Guess I can too. Wait. Take that back. Um, no, what was down here? This one actually gets a little confusing right here because there are like these little places you can actually kind of jump off and go to. And if I remember right, I think most of these are just picking up like random items. Yeah, this one's actually like an alternate path or something like that, but. Here you go. So here's a little bit of a look off point. So I'm not really going to worry too much about trying to take a picture there because the blit, um, I guess the blizzard pretty well hides most of it. What are you doing? Jump. There's some of those where it's like the jump is just kind of a little ridiculous. Wait, don't miss that one, just because. Oh yeah, 
I think there was another one. Well, that's, <laughs> you're not paying attention. It's raining along with the blizzard. Let's not fall in the hole. There's actually another pretty good view up here, too. I'll stop when I get up here. I just wish, like I said, it, unfortunately, it's just part of this part. There's always the blizzard there. You can't ever get away from it. But. All right. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. Um, actually, here it is. So this right here is a little bit of a... I guess help you out here. Last thing you want to do is fall all the way down. Yeah. Again, another great, I mean, another pretty cool view. But. A bit better if it wasn't quite as much cloud cover. Okay, so here we go. Data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms us. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another phone has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. Well, you, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The 
Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fire has been Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, less. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. Oh. There, you kind of, you really get to find out what, basically, that this was, this right here was pretty much the beginning of the end for humanity. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. You just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, 
We've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Okay. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Well, with the internet part. Probably not, but I can be hopeful. So this next question here, actually, the Grave Horde. Um, this is that's the one I was actually thinking of that had a lot of spoilers in it as far as just stuff in the game goes. So, if you enjoyed my video, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more of my content, click subscribe and the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new content. If you have any questions or comments or feedback for me, feel free to leave them in the video below, or you can email me at the address I provided in the description. Thank you for watching.